Rashad Norton is a digital promotion entrepreneur taking close to a decade's worth of his experience and turning the pages on how independent music makers and artists get their music noticed. And that person is the man, the digital media hacker, Rashad Norton. How are you, first of all? Doing well. Thanks, Toby. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you having me on the call. So thank you very much. How are you? I'm doing great as well. So first of all, what actually is Project Exposure for those that don't know? Yeah, sure, man. Um, So the best way to describe Project Exposure is it's a digital course designed to teach independent music artists and producers alike uh, the fundamentals of how to market their music. Mm -hmm. Um, There's a big disconnect um, with people kind of creating music and and just keep creating music to the point where they're throwing it at a wall and hoping something sticks. Uh, So my goal is to teach them how to take a body of work, market it effectively, because they never know that might be the body of work that gets to the next level. Yeah. So you think there's a problem with musicians, obviously, especially independent musicians and not knowing how to market their music. Right. Do you think that they just make songs and hope one will stick? Right, right, exactly. So the like I said, a lot of people, especially up and coming independent artists, um, they have this this issue where, you know, they'll make this music, they'll post mm-hmm. it to their social media page and boom, they think they're done, right? They're mm-hmm. like, look, hands off, I'm gonna be famous. I just hit you know, enter and it's it's on the inter- internet, right? And that's not necessarily the case, right? Because at best you're gonna get your friends, your family um maybe grandma right if she's on the internet she's gonna like it and it's not gonna really get you any traction right so what you really need to learn is how to do what the big guys are doing right you Mm. need to learn how to you know effectively market your music you need to learn how to run digital ads that will assist you with promoting your music to people you don't know right but what i teach in my course is a way for them to effectively market their music to people that may be similar you know to their body of music and like that and so i connect them with fans that's really the main goal of project exposure yeah definitely so what can people actually learn from the course right so they're going to learn the fundamentals of digital marketing like i said they're going to be able to you know there's lots of different ways to do it um our most successful way is utilize facebook and instagram um Mm -hmm. just utilizing the tools that are available to them right a lot of people don't know you know that there are tools and things like that available out there for them to connect with people based on a set of criteria and so i effectively teach them um how to basically you know run through that course and learn how to connect with fans on a deeper level Um, I actually myself have about 10 years of social media marketing experience and uh, worked for tons of large businesses. And I personally have a passion to the creative side of myself and music. And I've got the pleasure of working with tons of like local music artists in my community. And um, my team and I, we just really felt a compassion to create something for independent music artists that um, put them in a position to get ahead of the game and know, you know, how to to take their music to the next level. So Project Exposure was created and, you know, here we are. Yeah. And why is social media better than using one of the music distribution services? Well, yeah, I agree with that. Like, there's nothing wrong with the music distribution service. A lot of people need that, right? Um, But social media is also an important tool that they need. I used to state like if you think about like back in the day, like people used to have like CDs and stuff like that. And they would yeah. sit at like a, a grocery lot, you know, grocery store parking lot and they're like trying to pass out their music. Um, yeah. You know, social media is pretty much the same version of that. But you got to think, right, you need yeah. to know how to use that. Right. Because if you're creating, you know, say heavy metal or like, you know, trap rap music or something like that, it's not something you want to hand a CD out to like a six-year-old grandma right so you need to learn how to effectively use the tools that are available to you and that's what i teach you know people in the course 
Um, I teach them how to connect with people in their age range, people who like their style of music and, and all these different things. So essentially, you know, um, I would say, yes, you need music distribution. I actually go over uh, in the course briefly about music distribution. I even give you, you know, give the students some referrals um, to some great services. Um, but what social media and distribution can do is, you know, basically you're lighting that stick of dynamite at both ends, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're lighting it at both ends, you're going to just blow up. So that's my goal with Project Exposure. Yeah. And how is the course actually structured? Is it a book or a long PDF or an online right. thing? Yeah, I mean, I wish I wrote a book for everyone <laughs> to read. That would be probably not as effective. But what I do have for everyone is um, it's a video course. So yeah. basically, once they get access to everything, it's a live video course. I go over every detail of the ins and out of social media marketing. Um, I go through live views of you know how to run an ad. I teach them everything from A to Z. And yeah. the really cool part about this course is once you sign up, you get lifetime access. So as long as you got a computer or phone or anything like that, you can log in from anywhere, anytime and be able to ingest and watch the content. So um, yeah, it's definitely an online course um, that has, you know, video content and material. I want to say it's over about six hours, mm -hmm. um, but don't, you know, don't fret because it's, it's self-paced, right? There's individual things you can look into and refer back to. And so, you know, it's a really well thought out course. Yeah. And who would you say should be taking this course? Is it musicians or could it be managers or maybe anybody that's looking to promote anything? Sure. I mean, my course isn't for everyone. I, I am aware of that, right? Yeah. There are some people out there with amazing results or amazing funds that can get them results, right? But yeah. who my course is for is for people that, you know, are music producers, singers, um, you know, anyone who's interested in learning more about music and, you know, promoting the music, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of people who are going to be interested in this course is going to, you know, come from a background of, you know, wanting to know how to get to that next level, right? They're kind of yeah. stuck at this level where they just keep, you know, they've been doing it for a year or two, but they have no real results, right? Yeah. And so if you really are serious about your music and you're not on the level that you want to be on and you're still independent, this course is for you. Project Exposure is for you. And that's the people, you know, I'm trying to connect with. Yeah. And just lastly, why should somebody take your course instead of another similar one or maybe not even bother at all? Sure. Um, there are a few competitors out there teaching a little bit of different things. Um, but like I said, I personally have taken time uh, to go ahead and thoroughly go through every part, every intricacy of digital marketing, right? Yeah. And most courses out there aren't really designed to teach musicians how to get more exposure. They're designed for businesses, right? The original creation of ads were for businesses to get more people to their you know, websites, et cetera. And the same tools are effective for musicians, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's, like I said, certain criteria that they can use to connect with people that will be you know, more likely to become a fan. And so there's no real specific course out there for music. And that's why I kind of found the need, me and my team, to create something for those people, for the musicians of today's world trying to make it. Yeah, definitely. Well, where are we able to find the course if we're interested in it? Sure. Um, so you'll be able to find the course at getprojectexposure.com. Um, that'll be the main hosting site for the uh, course itself. You'll be able to get some more information. And that'll also be the site they go to to create their login and all the, the necessary details. Great. Well, thanks very much for taking the time to talk with us today. Sure. Thank you. I really appreciate it.